In today's video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about children within React, not necessarily the parent-child relationship between React components, but children as they are passed on the props object. And if you haven't seen my video on props in React, I would recommend watching that prior to this one or at least having a good understanding of how props work. So this video is going to be a full explanation on how those props.children work. And then we're going to show some examples of this and also kind of talk about where this might be most useful. So when using props.children, they are on the props object. So in React, when you pass something that looks like an HTML attribute to a React component, so this is a React component. When I pass a attribute here, and it's actually a JSX attribute, if I did like title is equal to this string title here, then whatever I pass as these attributes here, what React is gonna do is it is going to pass an object to this component here containing all of these attributes. And these can act like arguments to this component function as React components are just JavaScript functions. So on the props object, this would pass a title property with the value of title. And then if I had another property here, like description, and then some string here, it would pass a property of DESC is equal to whatever my value is here. So React will pass an object where all of the properties and values of that object are made up of those JSX attributes that you pass there. Now with children, they are passed on that props object. However, you don't pass children within the opening JSX tags. You don't pass them as things that look like HTML attributes or as JSX attributes. You pass children between the component tags. So here I have my opening React component tags. And then here I have my closing React component tags. And then whatever I pass between the tags, and this can be anything. This can be simple text like it is here, or it can be a another component, but whatever I pass between the opening and closing tags is going to be passed on that props object, but you're going to be able to access it on the children property of that props object. So React will automatically pass anything that you pass within these tags here on the children property of your props object. So let's look at an example here. And What's going on is this is a code pen, which basically gives me a environment to run some code. And over here on the left is my HTML. And then over here on the right is my React. And then here is what is outputted to the browser. So what I have going on here is I have two components. One is my main app component here. And this returns this component above. And in this title and description component, it takes one argument here called props, and then it returns a wrapper tag, which is just an HTML main tag. And then it returns an H1 that accesses props.title. And then below that H1, I render out props.children. So I access this children property on my props object. And then in my app component, when I render this title and description component, I give it a regular prop right here called title with a value of YouTube channel. And then between my title and description tags, I just render out some text. And what this is going to do is this is going to be passed on the children property of this props object. So then I'm going to render out this props.children right here. And then as you can see in my output here, I have an H1 that is YouTube channel. And then I render out whatever my children are right here. So this allows me to use this kind of title and description compo component similar to how you would use a regular HTML element in which you can pass text between the opening and closing tags. And then I access that on props.children. And then also what you will often see is just destructuring the properties right away from this props object. So I can do title and children. And then if I just render out title in children here, you're gonna see that I should get the same effect, and I do. So whatever you pass 
between your opening and closing tags of a React component that is going to be accessible on the children property of the overall props object. All right. Now, what if I define my own children prop here? What if I do something like children and then render some text there? Well, as you can see, that actually doesn't render anything because what is passed between the tags, that is going to overwrite the children property here. And I would, I would recommend not labeling any of your props children because React is going to overwrite that with whatever you pass within the tags here. Now, if I remove this here and I don't pass any children, then what we're going to see is that does work. It has, this is my child because React has nothing to overwrite this property with, so it doesn't overwrite it and it just keeps that. But I wouldn't really recommend doing that. I would just not use these attributes called children so you don't get those kind of props collisions there, all right? Now, one other thing I want to mention with this is that this can be particularly useful when you need to access children components. So often in my professional application that I work on, I have to create wrapper components that will wrap around other components and kind of customize that functionality and then return another component. So I might create a higher order component, which I have a video coming out on higher order functions in JavaScript and it's a very similar concept, but I might create that higher order component that returns other components. And one thing that's very kind of easy to reason about is just passing those other components that you're wrapping around in as children and then in your wrapper component just rendering out your props.children. So let me show you an example of what this might look like. So in my second example here, I have a very similar example in which my HTML is over on the left here, and then I'm gonna inject my React within this root component. And then here, I still have my app component just like I normally did. And then I render out my title and description. I give it a title attribute, and I have the same title and description component here that renders out props.title and all of its children. But then I create another component called description. And in this description component, it takes one property text and renders out a P tag with that text. And then what I do in my overall component is that I have my title and description component. And this might be better if I just labeled this a title component, which I actually will do here because I think that makes more sense. So now I have a title component and then within my title component, I render out a description component with a text property. And this description component is going to work like any other React component. It's going to take my text prop and it's going to render that out within a P tag. But here in my title component, since I pass, this description component within the opening and closing title tags, then the way that I am going to render out this description component is I need to render out these props.children here. And as you can see, I get the description outputted to my page. Now, what if I forget to render out the props.children? Well, if I do that, it's effectively that I, I don't get to see this description here. When I pass a component within the opening and closing tags of another component, I need to render out the props.children or else it will not render that component. And if I wanted this title to be like some sort of a wrapper component, I might customize the logic of this description here, or I might add some custom styles here to wrap around it or whatever I might wanna do. But this can be useful if you need to create those wrapper components to customize the logic of some of your components within React, but you don't necessarily want to adjust the entire component itself, all right? So children in React, they work just like props within React. They are passed on the props object, but the way that children work is that within your opening and closing tags of a React component, whatever you pass between those tags, React is automatically gonna pass whatever value is here whether that is another React component, 
or just some text here, it's going to automatically pass that value on the children property of the props object. So I can still have other props here and React is going to pass those on the props object as well, but it is going to pass this on the children property. So I hope this gives you a good explanation of how props.children work. React will just automatically pass whatever's between the opening and closing tags of your component on the children property of that props object. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in that next one.